Does your ISP have you feeling like the Balrog? Thought so. This is playit.gg. In this example, we'll be showing you how to self-host a Return to Moria dedicated server through playit.gg. First thing we're going to do, sign up for it. So we're going to open a browser, go to playit.gg, I'll have the link in the description, and you're going to download. We're going to be using Windows for this demonstration. So under Windows, click Windows Installer, and open the file. Go through the setup. and finish. Now we can close the browser. We'll run the program. And it'll take us to this link. So we can hold down control on our keyboard and click on it. It'll reopen our browser and take us to a login page. We'll probably need to create an account. Here you'll enter your email, your password, and confirm your password, and click create. After doing so, you should get an email asking you to verify your account. Go ahead and do so. I already have an account, so I'll be using mine. After logging in, it'll have several steps for you. We already did the first one. We ran the program. If you didn't, go ahead and do so now. After that, the program should provide you with a URL for you to claim the tunnel that's going to be created between your computer and their servers. After you input the URL, playit.gg should link to your computer. And then the last step is to create your tunnel. So we'll click Create Tunnel, and it'll take you to this page. For this demonstration, we'll be using Return to Moria. It uses a single UDP port. On the first page, you'll have Global Anycast, which is the only thing that's available for free. Everything else requires a paid subscription. For tunnel type, we're going to use UDP because that's what our game server uses. You'll get this warning about malware. Go ahead and read it and accept. After accepting it, you'll have to choose your tunnel type again and the port count. In this instance, we only need one single port. And the local port is going to be the port number that we specified in our configuration file. For this demonstration, we're going to be using port 8333. Yours will probably be different. So we're going to input our port here. And we'll add tunnel. It'll show us the tunnel spending, and then it should switch and show us that it has been created. So now what? Now our server should be accessible. To access the server, we're going to be providing our friends with either this IP address and port, or you can use this domain. If we scroll down a little bit, this just shows us some additional information about our tunnel. So before we can connect, let's go ahead and run our server. All right, great. Looks like our server is running. Now we can go back to playit.gg. So let's go and test it. So we'll grab our IP and port, we'll copy it, and then we'll boot up our game and try to connect. Now we're in Return to Moria. Go to advanced join options and here we'll paste our ip address and our port number and input our password if we set one up then we'll click join server now we're connected to our game we didn't have to forward any ports and all our traffic's being tunneled through playit.gg servers this should allow you to self-host even if you're behind signet or behind a vpn Thanks for watching and happy gaming.